This is the 2021 Math Kangaroo Level 7-8 problem number 30. The diagram shows a quadrilateral divided into four smaller quadrilaterals with a common vertex K. The other labeled points divide the sides of the large quadrilateral into three equal parts. The numbers indicate the areas of the corresponding small quadrilaterals. What is the area of the shaded quadrilateral? A, 4, B, 5, C, 6, D, 6.5, or E, 7. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test, and here is where we'll be doing the solution. So to start, as you can see, I've made the diagram as given to us in the problem a little smaller and off to the side, so we can still see the areas as given to us, but we're going to be focusing on this larger diagram over here in which you you can see I've labeled some more vertices so you can better understand what it is I am referring to. But before we look at that, let's take a look at this triangle off here to the side. Let's say that the two lines coming from this vertex divide the triangle's base into three equal parts because it's basically what's happening in the problem. So if we if this base is divided into three equal parts by these two points, then what do we know oops, about the area of those three individual triangles that make up the larger triangle. Well, they must all be equal. Let's say if this is x and this is also x and this is also x because they each have an equal base and they all have an equal height. So we're going to be using this logic in this diagram over here. For example, if we look at triangle E, K, F. And again, the problem tells us that the labeled points divide the sides of the large quadrilateral into three equal parts. So that means that this side length EP, side length PQ, side length QF are all equal. And they all, these individual three little triangles have the same height, then they must all have the same area. So, for example, if triangle EKP has an area of A, then triangle PKQ also has an area of A, and triangle QKF also has an area of A. So we're going to continue on with this logic throughout the rest of the triangles. So then over here, we can label the three individual triangles as having area B. Here they all have area C, and here they all have area D. And with this information, we can set up a few equations given the information from this diagram over here. For example, we have that 2A. plus 2b is equal to 10. We know this from this quadrilateral right here, which is equivalent to this part. We also know that 2c plus 2d is 18, and that's this quadrilateral over here. And finally, we have the 8. So we have A plus D, which is this quadrilateral right here, and corresponds to this, A plus D. Now the next step is to basically combine the first two equations together, this and this, and then we can factor out a 2 to get 2 times the quantity of a plus b plus c plus d is equal to 28, which is 10 plus 18. And now we know that, we already know that a plus d is equal to 8. 
So if we divide by 2 on both sides, we get that a plus b plus c plus d is equal to 14. And then again, oops. We know that if we take a and d together, we get 8. And what we're really looking for is this area right here. The shaded area is b plus c. So if we remove what a plus d is, then we're left with b plus c. So 14 minus a plus d, which is 8, will give us 6. 14 minus 8 is equal to 6. And that is answer choice C. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.